Welcome to Starting Out Solitary. My name is Tara, and I am filling in for Gretchen for the Friday slot. Um, and today we're supposed to talk, or this week we're supposed to talk about the elements. For me, the elements, um, I do have a strong tie for the correspondences themselves, but as an element corresponding to, say, my, my birth sign, which is Gemini, and it would be air, I do not feel I resonate with it. Um, and as everybody says, it is a broad topic, but how I find it in my life ends up being, um, how it, how I find it in my life to be used mostly is when I'm out in nature, I take the time to observe what's around me in, in like, uh, in the elemental sense. Um, I definitely, the one thing I relate with air is that when the wind picks up, I, I really, I don't know, it, it just makes me calm, even if it's like blustery, it's, it's something, I, it's one of my favorite types of weather, if that makes sense. And then the next one would be uh, rain, and I do enjoy fire, <laughs> not a pyro, but it's, it's always intriguing, which I think it is for a lot of people. Um, and Earth, I see my relation to that more of my my interest in like how I, I live. There's woods behind me, and I, I really take that in, and it's calming. So the elements for me are overall very calming, but um, um, how it applies to my practice. Um, now that I've moved, and once I'm a little bit more settled, I'm going, going to be focusing more on kind of tying them into my practice in, in, in the altar that I will be setting up. Um, I'm sorry if I seem a little out of it, I'm sick, <laughs> but I'm back, so really that's all that matters. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, oh, um, and I th believe it was Tara who, another area of elements that I find myself using is mostly with tarot because the suits all have a correspondence to an element, um, which I find really interesting. And I don't necessarily agree with some of the associations. Um, whatever. Um, a lot of people haven't talked about spirit, though. They're, it's mostly just the four elements that people are talking about. Uh, spirit is the intangible element, and it tends to be, I think, in most people's practices from what I've observed, it is, is definitely a conscious no, like, how can I explain this? Like, it's, it's something that people, they can't touch, and I think they tend to forget to apply it, but unconsciously it is always with them, if that makes sense. Like, applying it such as, like, representing it in your altar, or, um, now around Samhain, which is coming up, in next month, um, it definitely will be very much a conscious effort for people to be focusing on spirit, but, um, and people do talk about it, but it's, again, it's, it's in a different way rather than the elemental aspect of it. Um, I know a lot of people do do the five, the five points of the pentacle, um, in their rituals, and that's great, but, I don't know, for me, and I know a lot of people represent it as purple for color, um, I know I personally have to take time to think about it when I want to apply it to any of my purposes in, in my practice. Um, I think I'm getting a little confusing, but that's my stance with the elements and we may, I think, later on, 
further down the starting out solitary path, um, we may take each element on its own and talk about it. It might be a little bit easier for us to express um, our feelings about that. So I hope this made sense and I'm glad to be back. Bye.